Hello and welcome to Be a Tier, the German Engineer. Today we're back with episode 30 of season 2 of our current Let's Play series and this is of course Oxygen Not Included. Yes, you heard that right, this is already episode 30. Yeah, time is flying when you have fun, but I would say let's just jump right into it. Let's get started up here in the top real quick. What do we have here? First of all, let me turn the overlay back on and then take a look in here. Did I fix this last time? Yes, I did. I honestly couldn't remember anymore because we were missing one piece of pipe up here, but now we have water everywhere and it looks exactly as it should look like. Which means this rocket here is ready to go. But, yeah, there's always a but. When we take a look here, all of our planetoids here, we cannot oversee them because we have never been in orbit. So, yeah, we probably need to figure first out where we actually are. Not on the star map and also not in the rocket though. And what we are going to do do is let's see we do have our autonomous rocket right here but right here we should have our this is actually our research rocket <laughs> too many rockets to go around let's see it should be spirit of genesis i believe this left one right here yes this is the correct one and right here we have a telescope so if we send a dupe in here then we should be able to go back to space and send it to a planetoid and probably the easiest ones to start with are not the frozen or the lava one. We are probably gonna go for either Ugista down here or Hefferlin all the way on the bottom. So let's see if we can get a rocket ready to roll. So let's head back to Ingenium and in space for a motion, we're gonna change the crew. And who do we have here? Chempster is already the pilot. Is the Chempster the pilot just for everything? I think so. Yeah, it's probably it. <laughs> yeah, Chemster is just a pilot for everything, so it's perfectly fine, and there are no problems. One more thing I need to check, though, how much food do we have in here? 13,000 calories is more than sufficient for our good man. So, let's change the destination, and let's just bring it, yeah, somewhere right here. That should get the job done. And then back to Ingenium, and then we can actually begin our launch sequence. And now when we play the game, Chemster should come by relatively quickly, I hope. Get in there, and take off. And there's Gemster running like crazy, getting into the rocket. And then very shortly thereafter, we should have liftoff. But let's pause it real quick. Let's view the interior. Okay, he took it off. That's perfectly fine. And he's going up top. We can open all of these doors here. Or Gemster can here very shortly, better to say. And we can ba go back to Ingenium. And a liftoff should happen. There we have it. And I hope very, very soon we should be able to see what is going on on that planetoid. Meanwhile, all the way down here in the bottom right, yes, of our base, we are building once again in the frozen, frozen depths. Yeah, negative 70 degrees. And here we have Satsai, and he is just building happily away. And it's just how it goes. But there are a few things that we have to do. For example, we need some heat in here. But we should not start with that before we have all the ice out. So, what else can we do? Let's take a look here in our overlay for shipping, or better to say conveyor overlay. And then we're gonna grab us a conveyor bridge, and we're gonna plop it right here. Something just like that. Does look familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, because it sure enough is. And then with our conveyor rail, we're just gonna come all the way down here, and then we're gonna come all the way straight over to roughly right there to get the job done. We're gonna come all the way down here, all the way through there, and we're gonna come all the way around here. That is what that is going to look like all the way around and around and around until we come all the way over here and we can just go up the stairs and get into there that is what needs to be built yes it is a lot of conveyor rail but here we are and that needs to be done so might as well get started now while the dupes are doing everything else whenever they come by here they can just grab a piece of iron ore or whatever else we're building it out of plop it in there and then walk away like nothing has ever happened yeah that is the general idea but other than that, there's not a hell of a lot we can do. I'm just trying to get this wheeze word out of here, that one out of here, because we're already here, so we might as well. But other than that, it is just a hell of a lot of construction. Meanwhile, over here on Abundino, yes, life is pretty nice because, well, there's not a hell of a lot to do and everything just runs exactly the way it should. But down here in the bottom, we have those two big black spots where there could be another geyser or whatever else hidden. So there's only one way to find out. And what we could do is we are already right here and it's already freezing cold. So does it really matter if you go much deeper? I am not entirely sure. But is there a smarter way to go about it? Hmm, not really. I think we don't really have a choice. 
Let's go with this thing here all the way to the ground and then when we are here we will see how the dupes are behaving. We may need some atma suits because it is pretty freaking cold down here. So I say let's run the game and let's hope a dupe comes by because I want to see what happens to them. I'm actually not entirely sure. I don't think I've ever sent a dupe in such a cold environment before. So what are you complaining about? Low oxygen. Okay, if that is our biggest problem, we are doing just fine. So I would say, let's head back to Ingenium and see what else we can tear up. And cycle 566 is here and we can see we are definitely making progress. Not that fast, but it is happening. But let's take a look at our star map because yes, now we should be able to oversee the planetoid. And who could have seen it coming? A hell of a lot of slime. Let's see, are there any terms? No, also really surprising. But that should be a pretty good planetoid to get started on. But you know, it's always good to have options and therefore what we're going to do is we're going back to the star map and in the star map we are going to grab the spirit of Genesis and we are going to send it back home for refueling. As soon as we have refueled, we are going to explore another planetoid or two and then we will make our decision where we're actually going to end up. So back to Ingenium, unpause the game and here we go. But there's one more thing that I want to do right away, actually. I almost forgot about it. This crude oil right here has zombie spores in it, as we can clearly see all of it. And the reason for it is this spore kit right there. So what can we do about it? Well, there are a couple things, but probably the easiest would be to come just up here and then come all the way over to here as close to it as we can. And then with more ladders, we're going to come all the way here to the top. As a matter of fact, I may even go all the way to the top, but we will figure it out here in a second. First of all, let's get this here built. And when we have it, I will tell you about my plan and we will see if it works out or not. And now in cycle 568, yeah, we can send our rocket immediately back out. There's really nothing stopping us, so let's do precisely that. And we can, yeah, just go down here. Why wouldn't we? And then acknowledge the warnings. What warnings do we have? Pilot boarded, cargo transfer complete. Yeah, none of that matters. Acknowledge the warnings, begin the launch sequence, and let's go. The cargo it is complaining about is the oxygen. I set it to 1,500 kilograms, and it is only at 1,338. And yeah, that's what it is complaining about. Other than that, there are no problems at all. On the inside, we still have 8,000 calories, more than sufficient for another trip. So, Gemster, let's get back on board and let's explore the next planetoid. Cycle 569 just started and we can see that slowly but steadily even our conveyor rally is making progress here yeah, coming all the way through and over here the dupes are now also building those buildings slowly but steadily because I gave it a number 9 priority. Everything down here is now number 9 so the dupes actually come by and do it. But let's take care of this spore problem over here or at least attempt it and let's see what happens. Because right here you can see it I already prepared it. Let's see where is the appropriate one worth seeds and we have four of them and I thought we have only three so that works out in my favor that only means one thing we can probably place another one right there and that's exactly what we are going to do is so we're going to dig all the way up here we're going to dig out this one tile right there all the way through let's get rid of all this stuff right here and then let's grab another planter box and plant it right on top the radiation should be reaching far enough that it should encapsulate also this poor kid right here and hopefully kill it but we will see what happens i've actually never tried this so we will see how it goes when it is done and the first three worst seeds have been planted. The next one should be coming here very shortly, I hope. Let's put in one more piece of ladder just to make it look a little bit nicer. But let's take a look at the Cherm overlay. We're better to set it start with the radiation overlay. So we are definitely reaching this area right here. But are we reducing the germs? Let's take a look here. It looks like they are going down slowly, but steadily. And once again, time is really not an issue right here. So we just see if we can clear this here out as much as possible, and then we will go from there. And now that a little bit more time has passed, let's take another look at our wheeze words right here. Yes, they're still going strong. So germ overlay, and we can see, yes, look at this here. We have zero germs, and down here, 16,000, 95,000, 192. Yeah, it's definitely getting less, but we have a problem. This spore kit right here. Let's see here. When we take a look all the way on the bottom, it gives us a lot of decor, which is nice, but that is not really that helpful if it bursts out 100,000 germs every so often, and on top of that, it gives us another 1,000 germs per second. 
so we will have to do something about that. And I think the easiest way to deal with it is to just block it off, something like this here. We can just come in here, grab a tile, and plop it right there. So the dupe should come by, dig it out, build a ladder so that I can reach this tile right here, stand on the ladder, and then hopefully close this here off. There should be no more exchange of germs between this top layer and the entirety of the rest right here. And that should be certainly very helpful. So dupes, let's do that, and let's see if that plan works out. And look at this here, I almost missed it. Chemster is already in orbit. So let's take a look at this planetoid. And what do we have here? A lot of bleach stone, a lot of igneous rock, natural gas. Yeah, we have a hell of a lot going on over here. Polluted oxygen, natural gas. Here we have some gas grass. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot going on on this planetoid here. But that is probably not necessarily the best first planetoid. I mean, it would certainly be possible, no problem at all. But at the same time, we should probably go with the more reasonable option in Ugista. So let's go back to our star map and let's send Gemster back home. Not abandoned ship, that would have almost ended in a disaster. So, well, that's a little bit far in the scrolling. There we go. Back home, we are on our way, or better to say Gemster is. And then we may send him out to another reconnaissance mission or maybe even directly go for colonization. Meanwhile, down here on the bottom, we are making great progress. Yes, look at this here. Most everything is built. We really only need these metal tiles right here. Close this here off, put in a little bit of water and a little bit of oil for our liquid lock, and we are almost good to go. The main problem is going to be the polluted water, but we will take care of that here shortly as well. And how are we doing over here? Let's take a quick peek in our germ overlay. And yeah, look at this here. More and more tiles slowly but steadily have no more germs in it. The rest is going down drastically as well. It is just a question of time, really, especially now that I moved this Weathworth all the way down here, because I realized there's really no reason not to. Might as well plop it right beside the culprit. So that is precisely what I did. And even this tile here where the spore kit is, we only have 260,000 germs left. So I would say so far this is working very well. Just a question of time, and it's not like we need the oil or anything, so it literally doesn't matter. There is one other thing that I want to get done today, because right here we have our rocket ready to launch, we know where we are going, all of that is done, but we still cannot go because we are missing a crucial thing. And that is, in rocketry, our interplanetary launcher. Yep, right here it is. So, let's plop one of those bad boys down, then go into radiation and grab us red boat generators. And all we are going to do is plop here as many as we can fit, it does not matter, it makes no difference, we are going to make him out of, what are we going to make him out of? We should probably make them out of granite. Yeah, granite will do. That's perfectly fine. We can also do igneous rock, but it literally makes no difference. So leave it as it is. That is what we are going to do. And then all we need is a little bit of extra power coming through here. And yeah, that's that. As soon as we have it, we should be able to launch some stuff into space. We just need to have, let's see, what is the best place? Down here in the bottom, when we go to shipping, we are going to grab us a conveyor loader, and then we need a conveyor rail. And the conveyor rail we can just plop through here, it makes no difference. We're gonna come all the way along here, below the tiles, and plop it into there. Just like that, and now we can ship stuff right here without ever having to go to space. We just have to come to the top right here. That should be easy enough. And you know what? On a second thought, we can make it even easier because right here we have this thing. Might as well utilize it, right? So, let's do this. Let's plop this one in and connect it over. And then get rid of all of these here. And this one here as well. And now we should officially be good to go. As soon as all of this here is done, our interplanetary launcher will be ready to go. Meanwhile on Abundino, yes, the dupes have dug it all out. Look at this here. But it looks like, yeah, there is nothing here at all. But we will keep on going anyway, just for the sake of completeness, so we can see if nothing is hidden in this corner and on the other side. Okay, we got something right there. What do we have, guys? Let's take a look. We have an iron volcano. Yeah, there we go. An iron volcano in a completely radiated area. All the way around here, everything is slightly radiated at least. And it is of course freezing cold at a negative 104 degrees. So now it's not only cold, it is also radioactive. Isn't that fun? Gotta love oxygen not included. Uh, yeah, we will definitely exploit that thing. But I really don't see anything else on this planetoid here. We will dig over here eventually just to take a peek and we will also dig into here because I definitely want to uncover the entire map on every single planetoid that we are going to. And that of course includes Abundino. And on Ingenium, down here on the bottom, we already did a pretty good job and as soon as all this stuff here is finished, we can take care of the rest here on the sides. That should be no problem. And eventually, maybe we dig out the entire map. I don't know. We will see where we go from here.
but guys you really need to keep working on this interplanetary launcher right here so we can set all of these here to the left and now that all this here is built and working and luma is even coming by already building the conveyor rail so that is of course even better yes what we can do now is well or have to do now is is two things first of all there is really no point in having six of them that's an extra thousand watts that we are using for no particular reason and the reason for that is that right here we have 50 rad bolts that's the bare minimum i can set this thing here too so if i have four of them this here holds 200 when these here are full they will all fire, come all the way over here and fill this thing here up to the brim, is what I would say if there wouldn't be decay. So we need to go a tiny little bit higher because for each and every one of those little, no, well, how do I show it best? Yeah, right here. Uh, let's take something smaller. Yeah, each one tile, we are losing 0.1 rad bolts and we need to account for that because otherwise we will never make this thing here full. I'm gonna set this one here to 51. And I'm gonna set this one here to 51. And I'm gonna set this one here to 52. And I'm gonna set this one here also to 52. It's literally this simple. That should now be more than enough rad bolts to actually power our interplanetary launcher. And when these here are gone, they are not costing us any unnecessary energy. Because the amount of time it takes will be the same. It makes no difference. It's just oh you waste at this point. So Let's do precisely that. Later on, we are improving the setup. But for right now, to get us going, it is more than good enough. All we need is those 125 rats per cycle. No problem at all. And back on Abondino. Yes, sure enough. Unfortunately, there is nothing hidden in this corner. And yeah, right here, we still have our iron volcano. So we might as well start to dig into this general direction over here and give us a little bit more space to work on something like this you should do but other than that that is all we are going to do today over here next time around we will actually dig into here and take a look or maybe not next time around no promises that i can't hold because next time around we will most likely launch our rocket on ingenium and we will go to space and we will also have to finish this year up the dupes are taking forever to pick all this ice here up probably because i give them so much else to do but yeah it is what it is and on top of that, we still have to get polluted water in here. And the two best options that we have are either this polluted water up here, which would be pretty easy to reach. Or if we are lucky enough, maybe this thing here goes dormant and then we can just use this pipe right here that is currently going into the other direction. So we have options available. It just depends on how it works out at the end of the day. But overall, it should work just like a charm. But yes, that is all I have for you today. It really pains me that we could not get this here done. It is really sad, but the dupes are taking forever to pick all this ice up. Yeah, the reason for that could also be that the ice is right here. And they have to go all the way through the entirety of the base to the very top up here. Yeah, I should have probably automated that. But by now, even that doesn't make sense anymore. And I just let the dupes do it. I should have done that from the beginning because we have our conveyor rail right here. It's going through the entirety of the base. It would have been easy as pie. But the truth is, I forgot. Yeah, happens. But the deal is also, it doesn't matter too much. The dupes will take care of it. It will just take another couple cycles or so, and nobody will ever think about it again. All I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. But if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and of course, comment down below. You know it. I'm always happy to hear from you. I'm open to whatever you've got. And with that, I say thank you and peace.